Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to build a truncated octahedron frame. Now this is not a shape that I came up with. Uh, this shape was uh, invented by uh, another member of the magnet community named Oi Noi. I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel and Flickr page down in the description so you can go check out some of his other stuff. Uh, he's given me permission to do a tutorial on this so I'm going to get into showing you how to make it. What you need to build this shape are uh, rings of 10. You need three of each of them, uh, three uh, double stacked rings uh, per subunit, and you'll eventually need 24 of these subunits. So to make the subunit, you start off with these, flatten them into straight pieces. Two of them get attached together like that. Note that these two magnets don't touch. Then you take some extra magnets and you want to put a single magnet there and there. Like that. Then you take this other one and you attach it and being very careful to make sure that these magnets here attach there and there. Like that. Then you take two more magnets, put them there and there. Just like that. Flip it upside down. There's a space here. You need to put a single magnet in there and make sure that these three here are all touching each other. And then finally, take two magnets and place them right here, just like that. Now I'm gonna shorten this edge up so that it's uh, the same as all of these. For uh, this particular one, I'm removing six magnets from each edge, just like that. And that's how you build these subunits. Again, you need 24 of these. So to begin assembling this shape, you now make six sub-assemblies. Using these, you attach these edges together like that. And then using two more, you make a square with some little legs like that. Make six of these. Okay, now that you made all six of these, you can go ahead and start attaching them together to form the final shape. Take two of them, and these legs go together exactly like you might expect, just like that. Do a third one to join these two edges together. At this point, the thing should be able to more or less stand up on its own, but adding these last three on can be a bit tricky because they have a ten once you start adding them, they have a tendency to kind of fall down in the middle. So be very careful when you're adding them on. Once the once the last one is on, there's a little bit better strength to it. But when it's uh, just one or two of these on the top half, it will collapse into the middle without warning. So keep a very close eye on it. go. That is how you build a truncated octahedron. Now when I'm building polyhedron frames, I generally really like these uh, bicoupled uh, strut uh, frames because of how versatile they are and you can make so many different things with them. 
Um, the truncated octahedron, though, is one that had really caused me a lot of problems trying to figure out how to build one for several years, actually. So I want to say thanks to Oinoi for figuring out how to make this and letting me do a tutorial on it.